Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create the mouse trap base or the body of the mouse trap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sketch on my front face here. Again, it doesn't really matter which face you choose. I'm going to grab my rectangle tool and my first dimension is 3 and 7 eighths or 3.875. My height of the mouse trap is 3 sixteenths or 0.1875. Let's lock that in, green check mark, and let's extrude. Um, our width of our mouse trap is 1 and 13 sixteenths, or 1.8125. And we can lock that in right there. So essentially, our base is pretty much complete. We just have to put in a couple holes where our U pins are going to go. Um, so we're going to start off with drawing four circles here. Uh, I'm going to draw two pretty close to the side. All of our circles are 1 16th of an inch. I'm going to draw another one down here towards the bottom, 1 16th. And I'm going to draw one just kind of slightly diagonally um, up and to the left of these two points right here. And let's call this 1 16th. Okay. So what we're going to do is let's add some dimensions to these. So these two circles right here from the center point to the outside line is 0.25. Center point to the outside line, 0.25. And these two circles are actually 0.25 away from center point to center point. So now these are both positioned correctly. What we need to do to make sure that this distance to this outside distance is correct. Um, this is 1 in 10 sixteenths or 1.625. So now these two circles are positioned correctly. Let's now work on this one. Uh, this U pin will hold the bait in place. So we're gonna grab our center point and from the outside line here, our dimension is 10 sixteenths or 0.625. And from the center point to the bottom line, is 1 and 5 sixteenths or 1.3125 and we'll lock that in our last circle down here we're going to grab the center point in the bottom that is 0.25 away and from our center point to the outside line is 13 sixteenths or in decimal is 0.8125 all right, so we've essentially drawn all of our circles. What we're going to use now is the mirror tool. So I'm just going to draw a line right down the middle. And what I can do is I can actually go up to here and I can grab this mirror. And what this is going to do is it's going to say select a mirror line. I can choose my line and it says select the entities that you wish to be mirrored. So what I can do is I'm actually just going to click and I'm just going to highlight. Actually, you know what? Let me zoom out just a hair. I'm just going to click highlight all of my circles. You can see that they actually mirror over, which is awesome. And we're going to say, okay. So what I can do just to double check to make sure I've done this correctly. If I go to my dimension tool, I can just double check from center point to the outside line. Is that 0.625? It sure is. I could check my center point to the outside line, 0.25, awesome. I could check center point to the outside line. Yep, those are all the exact same. We know that we have those positioned correctly. And what we can do now is simply go to extrude. We can go to our circles. Oops. Go to extrude. There we go. Click on all of our circles. All right, and we will simply remove all the way through. So now we have eight holes in our mouse trap. Let's go to here. Let's add a nice color. That looks great. We essentially have completed the mouse trap base in Onshape. 